fellow siblings and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because if you didn't know, I am posting every single day in December. And if I like it, then I'm gonna try to keep doing it because I have nothing else to do with my life and I don't know why I'm not pushing myself harder to make videos more often. It is Christmas time and we all know that the hardest part about shopping for Christmas presents is shopping for boys. Why are they so hard to shop for? They never tell you what they want, you don't know what they want, and you don't wanna get something basic. I'm here to help you. If you guys didn't know, my entire life is surrounded by boys. I have four brothers, I have a bunch of boy cousins, um, I have a fiance, and then there's a bunch of boys in his family. So I am surrounded by boys all the time, and I actually brainstormed with a lot of them last night and came up with, I think, 54 ideas for presents. So these are all accurate, what boys actually want, and all the boys I talk to are into different things, so there's a lot of variety depending on the boy that you are buying a present for of what he wants. If you guys like this, I wanna see a what to get a girl for Christmas video, then give this a thumbs up. Literally, look how many ideas. I've never had this many ideas, ever. So this list is perfect whether it is for a significant other, a brother, a cousin, a dad, whatever it is, this is a list that could fit pretty much all ages. So some of them are a little bit more sentimental if it's for like a boyfriend and some of them are just super basic. Like I have my brother for our family secret Santa thing and so now I now I have ideas of what to get him. Let's just go ahead and get started. Number one thing, and literally every single boy I talk to is like, oh yeah, this is like the first thing they tell me, a wallet. Boys love wallets. They always want wallets. So get them something that represents them. Get them a nice one, get them a unique one. I'm sure they already have a wallet, so try to get them something that is different and then they can like switch it up, you know? Number two, flannels, jackets, sweatshirts, coats, anything that can go over what they're wearing. Boys love it. Um, I know my fiance lives in jackets and sweatshirts and all that, so 10 out of 10. And then this one's so good because you could get them like, if they're like, into flannels you can get a flannel if they're more into sports you can get them like a nike sweatshirt if they're more into like bands and artists you can get them um some merch from them so this one is perfect number three joggers sweatpants anything like that boys love to live in these like who likes dressing up i mean i do but like it's nice to be comfortable and i know most of the boys that i hang out with like own one pair of sweatpants and they need more Okay, because they don't do laundry. Also, if you guys hear some background, um, my cat is running around and my fiance is making food in the kitchen. So, <laughs> number four is shoes. Who doesn't want shoes? And this one is great because no matter what they're into, you can get them shoes for that. Whether it's hiking boots or like vans or tennis shoes, whatever it is, you can get them some nice shoes. I like all the ones we've mentioned so far because they're good for a high budget or a low budget because all those things you can get super expensive or really cheap. And this list has a good variety of expensive, cheap, moderate things depending on what your budget is. Number five, a new controller. I know that my fiance is really into gaming and so is my brother. If you guys didn't know, Xbox just came out with the Elite 2 controller. I don't know much about PS4 or anything like that. Or just get them like a customized controller. I don't know like how much you want to spend or whatever, but if your boy's into gaming, I guarantee they love a new controller. Or a new controller like parts, I don't know. Or like uh, batteries for their controller, or um, a stand for their controller, something for their games. Number six is great if it is a significant other. You can do something sentimental, whether this has to do with like a trip you went on or some times you spent together or whatever. Maybe you could do like one of those picture books that tells a story. Everyone loves sentimental gifts. Number seven, pretty much everyone could use this, a new charger, whether it's a charger for their car or a longer charger or just a new one or some dongles if you have an iPhone or, you know, a Mac or something. Everyone needs dongles and I, I know I do. I always lose mine, so. Number eight, a phone case. If your boy that you're buying a present for has a phone, I guarantee you they'd be down for a phone case. And if you're really feeling it, you could get them a wallet phone case. There we go, now we're getting up there. Number nine, a Yeti, or just a nice water bottle or cup. Ladies and gentlemen, we do not drink enough water as humans, and what makes it easier to drink water is having a really nice cup, and I'm talking the kind that keeps it cold all day. Number 10, 
If you are on a higher budget, you could get them some AirPods, but if you're gonna get AirPods, they're probably for yourself. So, an AirPods case, or just some nice headphones. Boys and people in general love headphones. Bluetooth headphones are always a need. Number 11 is a beanie or hat. Boys love hats. They always have bad hair days and they need hats. I know that I love when my fiance wears hats, so I'm gonna get him beanies so then he'll wear them, you know? Add your own little flavor. Like if he doesn't dress good, get him some nice clothes. If he has ugly shoes, just get him some new ones. Like this is your time to shine. Number 12 is cologne. I mean, who doesn't want their boy to smell good? Even if it's your brother, okay? Your brother probably smells bad. You gotta make him smell good. Like who cares? Like get him cologne. It'll make it better for everyone. Number 13 is socks. I cannot express this enough. I don't know why boys love socks so much. Like, I'm sure you're all with me. You all know that boys love socks. Like, I feel like it starts for them in about sixth grade when they get those Nike socks and then they just can't let it go after that. So get them some fun socks. Number 14, I love this one, cool jewelry. Whether it's like a ring or a cool bracelet, maybe an anklet, whatever like the boy that you're buying it for is into. I know boys are pretty specific about the type of jewelry they're gonna wear. Get them something like that. And I love when Dallin, my fiance, wears rings. So maybe I'll get him some rings. Number 15, this one is really specific, but I just wanted to throw it in there. Lululemon pants. And I know it's expensive, but two of my cousins have these Lululemon pants and I don't know what kind they are. Um, I should probably figure that out before I put it on the list. But they're like stretchy. You you can wear them as like church pants or like workout pants or just regular day pants and they are the most high quality pants I've literally ever seen. This is not an ad. I'm just like, I'm so confused on how they're such good pants. So I think I'm literally going to get them for Dallin because they're the best. Okay, number 16 is something to do with an inside joke. I know if it's a sibling, you probably have plenty of them. So I don't know, maybe it's like some weird like there's like weird websites out there if you look up like weird christmas presents like you can find stuff and my oldest brother jordan is the best at this he'll always get you something that has to do with an inside joke like one time he got me a shirt that said kansas because i made a whole video about how much kansas sucks to drive through when you're like on a road trip number 17 a google home or a alexa or something like that I'm pretty sure Google Minis, like the Google Home Minis are only like 20 bucks. So that's not too bad and that's something they can actually use all the time. Or you could literally just get them a Bluetooth speaker, but those are usually more expensive. So whatever you're feeling. Number 18, if you guys, if you ladies did not know, the new Call of Duty just came out. And if the boy that you're buying for a present for is into video games and doesn't have it yet, which is unlikely, then you could get it for him. But beware that it is very addicting and they won't talk to you for months afterwards. But I don't know, just an idea to get them a new video game or something like that if they're into games. Number 19, boys always love tools. I mean, I'm not saying like, I'm not trying to generalize boys with all this. That's why I have so many like, oh, we could do video games or we could do tools or we could do this or that. It's facts, everyone needs tools, even girls. Everyone needs tools, okay? So tools. Number 20, gift cards. Everyone loves gift cards because you can get something that you actually want. But I will say that just kind of like giving people money, it's a little bit ingenuine to just get them a gift card. So maybe get them something small and then a gift card as well. So maybe like an inside joke present and a gift card. But it's up to you, do whatever you want. I literally don't care. Number 21, watches. Boys love watches. And I'm not saying all boys do, but like I know my future father-in-law and brother-in-law and my fiance love watches. I don't know what, like they're obsessed with watches. So they wear a different watch every single day. So a watch is always a good go-to. Number 22, ties. I know that for me, we go to church every Sunday and the boys always want to wear like cool ties because that's the way that they can stand out because they have their suit and then the tie is what makes them stand out. So ties, always a good one. And then you could get them cute ones and then you get to see them wear them and it's great. Number 23, um, if they're into this, a fanny pack. And going with that, number 24, a backpack. I know I like backpacks and most people just in general love backpacks. So a new backpack is always good. 
Um, maybe try to get them one that is more centered to what they like. So if they like sports, try to get them like a cool like Nike or Adidas backpack. If they're into like gaming or like um, computer stuff, get them one that they can definitely put their laptop into. And get them like a nice one that'll actually last and not fall apart after a month. Number 25, you can always get them my merch. Um, CindyMcGee.com. You can also, it's always in the description box if you want to go click on it. Um, actually, fun fact, this merch will not be for sale starting in January it'll never be for sale again which I'm a little bit sad about because I love the design of this merch but I'm getting married I'm getting a new name and I want to come out with a completely new design that represents both me and Dallin really well number 26 lanyards I mean I think everyone kind of likes lanyards but boys especially like lanyards they always have their key on lanyards so get them a lanyard that goes well with them the, I love these kind of gifts because you can specialize them for the person you're getting them for. Wow, I need to really zoom through these or it's going to be a really long video. So we're just going to hit it. Number 27, smart technology. Who doesn't like it? Smart lights, strip lights. That's like a huge thing, especially on TikTok for some reason. And so that'd be great. Um, this one comes straight from my cousin Maverick. I did not come up with this and I didn't even want to put it in. But he said a manscaping kit. Do with what you want with that. 29, a cool clock like an alarm or a digital clock or something. I don't know, I think clocks are kind of cool. You could even get them a smart clock if you want. Number 30, going along with watches, if they have an Apple watch or a smart watch, you could get them different bands for their watch, switch it up a bit. Number 31, <laughs> if your boyfriend is a really thin and cold like mine, then get him some gloves because he's always cold. His hands are always cold, especially when he drives. He always wears gloves. 32, Boys always like hair gel. You can never go wrong with that. Well, you might want to make sure you know what kind they like and then get them more of it. Number 33, a headset to play games. This kind of goes along with like headphones and stuff, but if they're into games, there you go. Number 34, sports tickets. Or number 35, concert tickets. Number 36, their favorite movie. I know that everything's like digital nowadays, but at least my like future in-laws, they love still having CDs. So if you can find their favorite movie like on Blu-ray or something, then get it for them. Number 37, a comfy pillow. Number 38, <laughs> I forgot this was on the list. Transformer sheets. And I put this on this because me and Brittany, my future sister-in-law, thought it was so funny. Cause like imagine going to a boy's house and he just has transformer sheets. Like it just be like a really good joke. Like transformer sheets or like Spider-Man sheets or just something stupid. It'd be a really funny present, I feel like. 39 posters, can't go wrong there. Sunglasses, books to make them smart, a uh, teeth whitening kit. Poopery, um, I forgot who told me to put this on the list, but that's the stuff that you go to the bathroom and then if it smells, you just spray it and it gets rid of the smell, so. Soap, because you know, you want them to have hygiene and honestly, you can never go wrong with buying someone more of their favorite soap, so. Of course, his favorite food or candy is always an option. Ooh, a nice pen. I feel like a lot of boys like nice pens. Um, number 47, workout stuff, whether that is like um, a yoga mat or like a new workout duffel bag or new workout clothes. Just, yeah, get him to the gym, okay? Uh, number 48, protein powder. Number 49, robes. Okay, this one's kind of random, <laughs> but me and one of my cousins thought of it because our other cousin always wears a robe like every day. I don't know why, but if he's into robes, there you go. Um, 50, this would be like a funny present, but some Charmin Ultra toilet paper. We all know that that thick, soft toilet paper is like the best ever. So one, it'd be funny, and two, they'd probably actually appreciate it, so. 51, a blender. Um, a Swiss army knife, maybe it's custom or just cool. A watch case if the boy is into watches like I talked about earlier. Poker cards, playing cards, whatever you want to call them. Just a nice deck of cards. Like literally, I love a good nice deck of cards. A membership to either, I don't know, whatever you want. Like a gym membership or a Disney Plus membership or a Netflix or Hulu membership. I don't know, this could be potentially an idea. A Rubik's Cube, make them smart and figure out how to do a Rubik's Cube. Or if they're like my in-laws, then they already know how and they have like 40 of them, but they're always down for another one. A nice camera, you can never go wrong there if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, maybe a GoPro or like my vlog camera. This is a G7X Mark II. They aren't, they're under $1,000, so they're not crazy if they want to start filming stuff or whatever, or maybe just get like a little bit more cheaper camera to take pictures on. And number 
58. Last but not least, if you can't think of any present and it's for your significant other, you can always just get pregnant and they can have a baby for Christmas. <laughs> I forgot I put that on the list and then I just like surprised myself by having it on there, but I thought it was funny and me and my uh, future sister-in-law came up with it, so yeah. There you have it, 58 ideas for your boy. So significant other, brother, cousin, dad. There's a lot of good stuff on here that could go for any type of boy. I tried to make it wide range of gifts and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit long, but boys are so hard to shop for that I needed like a good solid list to give you guys. Like I genuinely talked to boys to get these ideas, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed and enjoyed my personality or whatever and you wanna like support me and watch more of my videos, then you can hit the subscribe button. Also, I'm sorry I caught myself looking at the viewfinder a lot through this video, so I'm trying to work on it. I'm used to my vlog camera. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, um, I'm posting every day, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!